I just opened your plan and uh, I zoomed in on that area. I just pulled the edge of the of the uh, roof back and I got to this this to expose. I was wondering well why is this stone sticking up in here? And you click on it and it's a room dialogue and, and that's that's the top of the ceiling. You got the ceiling set to what the hell? You got the ceiling set to 172 inches. We can translate that into feet and inches. Yeah, it's 14 feet. Well, obviously that's higher than the uh, the roofs. Why'd you do that? I have no idea. That's what's causing this line here. Also, let's let's see what the porch is set to. Yeah, 14 feet. So you, that's the ceiling line up here. So you got some goofy settings, and you're just being the effect of your improper settings. I don't know what your settings were supposed to be, but that's what's causing this phenomena here. Uh, let's take a look on the inside. You got this, looks like to me you got the ceiling set too high. There's no reason to set the ceiling higher than... See, there's the ceiling up there. I don't see any stone on the inside. I see it on the outside. Isn't that weird? Check that out again. Look at this side. Yeah, we're getting some phenomena here as well. That looks like a light fixture. That is a light fixture. And it's just trying to be on the ceiling at 14 feet, so you'd have to pull that back down and actually so it can actually be on the ceiling. This roof edge looks like it's a little close. I'm going to jerk it back just a little bit and see what that does to this area here. Uh, that kind of improved it a little bit still ugly <clears throat> that's an attic wall causing causing that there I don't know if you need that attic wall or not but uh, that's what's causing it <clears throat> where that stones coming from here seems to be from the ceiling because it's you can see the outline of the ceiling and that's where the stone stops Let's just take a look at the dialog box. Kitchen. Look at the wall setting. No. No change indicates that there's more than one setting for the wall. That doesn't, it's not very definitive. I'm going to do it an inside view. Got to move out of the bushes here with an arrow key. Probably should just create a new camera. Hit the arrow keys and it's taken a while to update those commands. Now I can't close the thing because it's kind of stuck. That's what happens when you use the arrow keys. You have to wait until those commands uh, finish up. Anyway, if I, as soon as I close this camera, I'm, I'm quite trying to close it, but it's not closing because it's still carrying up the command of, of the arrow key hits that I gave it. Right, I won't 
close. Let's have to wait until it cycles through. There, finally. Okay. Now I'm going to do a uh, an elevation camera in the kitchen. See if we can't sort this out. <coughs> I mean, see, so you got the ceiling up here, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, but it's causing some other problems. Yeah, that's must. Whoops. That's a 14 foot level. <coughs> Hit the tab key and get the wall polyline. I'm gonna open this wall and see what it's set, what, how it's programmed. It's interior four. Okay, that's just what it's supposed to be. Okay, let me uh, pull another camera this time. Yeah, I, I want to look just at this wall. I'm gonna use a back clip camera and just look at this attic wall that's there. That's the one that's showing the bad material. Okay, so on the inside of the house you want you don't want siding showing. You want uh, sheetrock, uh, sheet I, I would assume. So, that's still not quite the view I want. Let's see if all the, uh, I want to go the all on set. Make sure that everything that is there is there. Okay. Okay. I'm going to use a black back clip camera right across this area here so I can see in elevation everything that is there. You know that stone doesn't show up in this camera. Let me keep that camera there and, and we'll go to an overview. Just Maybe I'm looking in the wrong place. Yeah, there's the front of the house, and, and, and this phenomenon is happening on the back of the house. Okay, my bad. So, I've got this camera set the wrong way. I'm going to close it. There's a problem with this wall, but uh, the main problem is looking from the other side. <coughs> Yeah, there, there it is. See, now you can see the ceiling. It's working okay over here. It's not working okay over here. Let's see what that wall polyline says. Interior 8. Okay. <clears throat> and this should be an attic wall, I believe. Let me check. Yeah, attic wall. Yeah, that's fine. Well, what I'm going to try to do is just reshape this poly wall polyline, starting right here. Now, I still don't explain why the stone's coming through. That's still kind of a mystery. I'll put another wall break over here, or a polyline break. I'm going to try to shake that through the roof. <coughs> Excuse me. That seems to be working. It's not perfect. But it might be a little bit better. I'll put another break along in here. And move that up into the roof. So it gets through the siding here on the inside of the house, which is kind of a, a non optimum condition.
Okay, that looks a little bit better. There's still some trouble over here. Let's go back to the overview. somewhat better still got some junk in there let me click on that okay that's a wall let me uh, get a better angle on that wall and then we'll just pull it down manually it's following the ceiling height uh, command I'm gonna hit the tab key and see there's its wall polygon I'm just gonna pull it down under the underneath the roof Uh, that stone's not sticking through. We got it looks like maybe the attic wall's not lined up with the wall below, or there's two walls there or something. Let me see if there are. Uh, I don't think so. I'm trying to reference this play. No, there's nothing for it to align to below. Yeah, there's no indication that it's out of a line. But Adjust that wall polyline a little bit more. <coughs> There's a corner board. That's really ugly. I'm sorry. The chief doesn't handle things like this all that well. Let me get rid of this brake line by dragging it to the corner. Hmm. I guess you could put a polyline solid here and perhaps seal that in. And it's not kind of like a band-aid and cover that up. Look at the other side. There's another wall polyline coming through from the, below. I'm going to pull that back and see if that doesn't get rid of that artifact. Okay, that, get, that did. Now this wall here, yeah, that one. I think that you're seeing the end of this. Uh, let's see if it's a, I think, let me see if it's an attic wall. It is not. Okay. <coughs> It's coming from, uh, see, like this is crazy for this to go all the way up here when it's a first floor wall. It should probably be down here. Let's just see what happens when I do that. It's occupying the same space as a second floor wall. I just dud. I'm going to take this wall polyline here and pull it down. Okay, see how they clean that up? Looks like the roof is chopping in there a little bit too too close. So I'll pull that out. Oh, now you can see the corner board. Okay. Because the corner board was being chopped by the uh, roof. Well, that's cleaned up that side pretty well and where's the uh, there it is. I think this other side is a little bit problematic in that uh, I'm not gonna bother to draw polyline solid there or but you know you click on the wall polyline there's nothing wrong with it there's this is not being caused by the wall polyline interacting with I think it's the, this is the 14 foot ceiling mark and that's what's causing the problem. <coughs> Let's just, it won't take but a moment. I'm going to do a back clip cross section right there. I probably need to do it from the other side, don't I? 
Yes. I'm just disoriented on this plan. It's probably the other side of, yeah, over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all I'm talking about is just we'll draw a figure here and we'll convert that to a polyline solid. I'll make it uh, two inches thick. Fill in the area. I have to be real careful about the shape as long as it just conforms to the area you're trying to solve. I guess pe people critical of power users would call this a work workaround, and to me, it's just it's just CAD work. I don't care what other people say about that. Let's see what that looks like. No, it's not quite working. Now, the, the default material is concrete. Let me find that thing in plan view. Uh, let me get out of the all on set. We'll go to uh, default set so it's not quite so much clutter. And we'll turn the reference display off. I think that's, that might be it there. What is that? <coughs> okay, it's a wall. I guess it's a wall polyline. Okay, I'm looking for that object I just drew. And it's Make, make, make sure that default cat is on. It is. That's the layer that polyline solids come in on. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong part of the plan. It's on the other side. I, I've been disoriented since I started this video. should be over here. Let me go over here to uh, all off, and we'll turn on this default CAD. Having trouble finding the thing. All right, CAD default dummy. I guess that's it there. It doesn't look like that's two inches thick. It's the line. And delete that. I'm looking for a polyline solid that I just made. Well, apparently it didn't work because I can't find it. Let me try again. Go back to this. Not that, but uh, this. Yeah. <coughs> well, you saw me. I, I made a polyline solid and it just vanished. that again. Made it bigger this time to make sure I can see it. Well, I can certainly see part of it. I'll reshape that. Now, I should be able to find that. Alright, where is it? But this is the all offset, except with, let me check something. Okay, there it is. Let me check that thing, see what layer it's on. Okay, I default, just like I thought. Okay, I'm going to put that material on it. See, they, they clean that up. Now, th this needs to be lined up a little bit better. But uh, I think that's a reasonable solution to the current problem.
Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, I would wind this up a little bit better and, and, and clean that up, and but my phone's ringing. Goodbye.